What's going on guys? Back out here in the West Desert again to try a mile shot attempt number two with the 6.5 Creedmoor. I brought a bit bigger target. It's a full-size Ipsic and then my 14-inch plate. So let's back out to a mile. See what we can do. I'm gonna go way out there. Got a spotter number one. Target is up on the hillside. That white speck in the center of the screen. One mile, 1,769 yards. This is my firing position. Spotter number two, my second rifle. Should be able to get it done. 6.5 Creedmoor, 147 grain Hornady ELD bullets, H4350. Should be a good time in the desert. So I don't have my ballistics chart. I remember my ballistic chart being around 75. So let's go up 75. Seventy-five. So we'll start there. Let's see where that puts us. You went to precision UPR10, six-five Creedmoor, bolt action AR10 upper. 1,770 yards. You guys good? Yeah. All right, here we go. After the shot, you have three seconds before it shows up. Ooh. Eight right, that's what I call. Yep. All right, so let's move it left, eight. And it wasn't even at the four down. <clears throat> It was at that hash mark in between it, too. Yeah. Not that helps. So I'll send one more if we'll see how vertical it is. That's good. 75 MOA yeah, put me close. close enough to see it. Okay, it looked like I hit about too low, so let's bring it up. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait to make my adjustments. <laughs> Cause last time I just was making adjustments too fast and I was chasing them all around, so. Wind and everything. Yeah, I'll, I'll chill. Well, let's chill. Yeah, first. Let's see what happens if I shoot it the same. Oh, that was a little high. Same. What do you think? Same spot. Okay, so let's bring it up one. I thought it was a little higher. It, it might have been just a touch higher. I mean, my side was probably not as clear as Andy's, but. They're all about even. Side to side, though, is good. Yeah, it was dead center, side to side. Cool. It well, it's right in there, so. The right side. I'm thinking I'm getting this next one. Making sure my rifle's level. Here we go. I didn't see where that went at all. You? I saw dust. Did it hit? I either saw dust to the right or it hit the target and created dust. I so. think you hit it because I didn't see no dust. We wouldn't hear that from here, would we? No, not with the wind. Looks like just left. Yep.
All right, just got back to the target and uh, recovered these bullets laying in the dirt. Pretty cool to find those. So I got my full-size Ipsic, and I definitely got a hit on the shoulder. Um, looks like that's the only confirmed hit. Uh, down here, I believe a bullet hit the ground and then bounced sideways into the target. But I got hits on target at a mile. That's my new personal best, 6.5 Creedmoor. We're not exactly sure which round I hit, but uh, it could have been the third or fourth. Could have been any of the 17 that I fired. So pretty stoked on that. We're gonna back out and we're gonna let these hooligans try it out. So see if we can get them on target. Okay guys, I'm fairly confident that that scope cam footage was a hit and that ping that we can faintly hear, we can barely hear it, but I'm pretty sure that that was a hit. It took a three second flight time to get there and sound travels one mile in roughly five seconds depending on conditions. The sound comes back right around the eight second to nine second mark, so I'm pretty confident that that was a hit.